Hi, I'm Jenny Tomes. This little lesson is presented by Port St. Lucie Utility Systems, connected to the community since 1994. Today, we are asking a very important question. How special is water? Well, that's easy. Water is so special. It's super duper special. Let's start with the name. So water is also known as H2O. So H2O just refers to the atoms that make up a molecule of water. So the H stands for hydrogen. There's two hydrogen atoms. So here's a little picture of a water molecule blown up really big so you can see it. it. Actually kind of looks like Mickey Mouse, doesn't it? All right, so the two hydrogen atoms are Mickey's two ears, and then there's one oxygen atom, that's Mickey's head. All right, so we've got two hydrogen atoms and then one oxygen atom, and that makes up a water molecule. It's pretty cool, right? All right, so again, water is so special because our planet is loaded with it. If you were an astronaut, and you were to go into space and turn back and look at planet Earth, you're gonna see that it is covered with water. About 70 to 75 percent of the Earth's surface is covered with water. That's why we're known as the water planet. All right, so here's my picture, right, of Earth. There's that 70 to 75 percent of the Earth's surface covered with water. Most of it's salt water, right, found in the oceans. There's only about one percent of fresh water that we can access, okay? That's why it's so important to protect it and conserve it and save it because there's, there's such little fresh water available on planet Earth. But where can you find it? You find fresh water in lakes, rivers, streams, you find it underground, in aquifers, you actually can find it in a frozen state in glaciers and polar ice caps, okay? So there's not a tremendous amount of fresh water, but as a whole, we have a ton, a ton of water, all right? Water's also really cool because it can be found naturally occurring in three different forms, okay? So we have our liquid form, our solid form, and then our gas or vapor form. So let's first talk about the liquid form. Excuse me, I'm going to pour myself some liquid H2O. All right, ah, okay, so there's my liquid H2O. Now, we need this to survive, don't we? Anything that's alive needs water to survive. Did you know that you can survive for three weeks without food, but only three or four days without water? That's how important it is. We need water to survive. Plants, animals, anything that's alive needs water to survive. That rhymed. All right, so water's actually really cool too because we use it for a ton of different things. Obviously, we use it to drink. We use it to cook with, we use it to clean dishes with, to wash our clothes with, to wash our bodies with. We use it to brush our teeth, to fill our pools, we play in it, right? There's so many uses for water. A family of four uses about 250 gallons of water every day on average. So we have a tremendous amount of water that we use every single day. So it's extremely important to our survival. Water's also really cool because it's a rule breaker. And I like that. So water, it's all about the density of water. So density just refers to, to its mass or volume, okay? So just do a quick demonstration here, right? So I have a little tiny rock, right? All right, so if I were to put this rock in this water, do you think it would sink or do you think it would float? All right, let's see, strap it in. Boom, right to the bottom. Okay, see how little that rock is? It sunk right to the bottom and that has to do with its density. So again, it's mass or it's volume. That's a heavy little rock and it's dense on the inside. So it sunk right to the bottom. Now, if I were to take out a frozen H2O cube, let me do that. Let's get my solid H2O out. Now, so that's a bigger cube, right? So that's bigger than the rock. Do you think this is going to sink or do you think it's going to float? Let's see. Boom, stayed on top, didn't it, right? So again, that has to do with its density. Now, typically, things that are dense are going to sink to the bottom, but when water is frozen, the molecules actually spread apart and make it less dense. That's why an ice cube 
floats on the surface of water. Isn't that cool, right? It's unlike anything else. It goes against everything we know, right? That's why water is so special. So water is also found in a gas or vapor form. I have some gas or vapor form right here on my stove, so let's see. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. See, fog my, fog my glasses up. I got a little, uh, I got a little facial there. All right, so see this steam rising up out of this pot? So when water is heated, it rises. You can see it because that hot vapor is hitting the cooler air here in the kitchen. So you, you can actually see that water vapor rising up into the air. So what's really cool is this same thing happens outside, except instead of using a stove to heat up the water, we use a big old sun to heat up the water. So all that solar energy coming down from the sun and beating on the water heats it up and makes it rise up into the air. So all that water Water vapor forms a what? Up in the air. It forms a cloud. So a cloud, here's my cloud there, is just water in its gas or vapor form. So again, what's really cool, so once those clouds are up in the air, let's say there's a lot of them building, right? We've seen this. We see it all the time, mostly in the afternoon here in the summer in Florida. We see those clouds really forming and rolling in. So what happens is that water vapor, those molecules, they latch on to dust particles in the air, and then that forms a droplet of water, and then it falls. So depending on if it's hot, like here in Florida, it just falls in a liquid form. Form, or if you're further up north where it's cold, it could fall in a solid form, which is snow, right? We don't have much of that here. Here's my frozen, my frozen water in here, right? We don't have any snow. We can make ice, right? We don't have any snow here in Florida. All right, so those are the three forms of water. Again, water is so special. And did you know also, you're pretty special too. You're special for a lot of reasons, just like water is, but you are made up of water. Over two thirds of our body is water. So we're actually pretty special too. So I'm a big fan of the water if you couldn't tell. Tell me if you're a fan, send me an email at jtomes at cityofpsl.com. I'd love to have your feedback, if you have any questions, if you have any pictures of snow, maybe you've gone up north and played in some frozen H2O, I'd love to see them. Please share your thoughts with me and your feedback at jtomes at cityofpsl.com. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We'll see you next time on Little Lessons.